During the 2010-11 financial year, through the National Partnership Agreement and Remote Indigenous Housing, the Department set out to deliver 76 new houses and refurbish a further 258 properties in remote Western Australia. With the majority of this work occurring in the Kimberley, there were many challenges presented in the delivery of this housing, none more so than some of the worst flooding in almost 100 years. By the 30th of June deadline, the Department had successfully delivered 84 new houses and refurbished 271. This would have never been possible without the professionalism, commitment and goodwill of a large number of staff and contractors. Your efforts are commendable and the Department thanks you. The 2010-11 program comes about through the work of a whole range of people. People involved in planning, strategic policy, the housing management team, um, through to the construction team, people in central services, um, and, and finally the people who ensure that the properties are occupied. All that has to gel together and it's an extraordinary amount of work and it is probably the most difficult area that I've ever worked in. In the 10-11 year we increased our level of consultation quite deeply, quite profoundly. What we found was communities want buy-in, they want more involvement, they want more control of decision making. We didn't quite have in place a way of managing the relationships with the individual householders and now we're realising how important that is and in the New Year's program we're taking specific steps to treat that transitional housing as a project within itself before we actually start any building work. Communities really do want to be involved in the provision of their housing. In other words, more than just simply government doing housing with them or to them, but we actually are, we're, we're walking down a, a path together. There were two things which I think were outstanding in the year. One was um, beating the elements. Um, we were progressing quite well and then the floods came. For a month we lost road access in the north. Meanwhile the 30 June target was still there and we still had to meet it. So I think being able to meet the target with the elements being what they were and the late start that we had to actually the construction phase was again an extraordinary achievement. It was challenging, sometimes there's disagreement, sometimes you have to work with pockets of the community who may not understand or desire what you're trying to achieve. Uh, it took a lot of work, there was a lot of hard yakka at times. I learnt a lot, I, I grew a lot, I got a tougher skin out of it I think. As a department sometimes I, I feel just the sheer volume of, of the work we're delivering means that that person-to-person -person relationship at the end of the process uh, can be overlooked. A memorable experience for me during the 1011 program was uh, visiting Yandi Yarra community on a number of occasions to negotiate the housing management agreement with them. Uh, it was an absolute pleasure to um, visit the community, be welcomed there um, and really be able to see their passion and their vision for their community uh, and their commitment to their community as well. This is a, a very complex piece of work. It requires the cooperation of a, a whole range of people, but out of it we have been able over the past two years to achieve our outcomes uh, and in the first year actually get a bonus from the Commonwealth because we did. That's been of enormous value to the department in terms of our reputation, um, both within the state uh, as, a, as an organisation that delivers, uh, but secondly uh, at Commonwealth level as well. Um, we're recognised as, as the state that always meets its targets in a whole range of areas. What we're really doing is affecting people's lives. And I know of one instance I chatted with a lady who for the first time as a result of a new house will have self-contained uh, accommodation. So instead of going down to the community um, facility for ablutions, toilet and shower, um, she doesn't need to do that anymore. Her home provides her with what we would expect, a, a bathroom. I think the most memorable experience is when I took a lady through her freshly constructed house in Bailu 
It's a community in Fitzroy Crossing. She walked into that house and began to look around and you could see the look in her eyes. She was just amazed that this would be her house. And she asked that question, is this mine? It's so much bigger than, than what we have at the moment. And I said, yep, it's your house. What we do actually has a, a, an impact on the ground and, and there's a human element to this. And uh, I guess we all get excited by the fact that we are um, impacting people's lives in a positive way.